Hi everyone, before moving forward, I wanted to demonstrate this really cool tool that I found which can be used to draw DFA and it offers a number of really useful features. So I'll put the download link in the description, do check it out and let's try and create some uh, automata here. So I select the state first, I create two states and I'm just going to be drawing a simple NFA for the all binary strings which end with zero which is what we have seen a number of times. So to create transitions I need to select this transition creator and what I'm saying is from Q0 I want a self loop on Q0. So the way to create self loops is to just click on the state and I want a transition on zero as well as one but remember that in this tool you'll have to put them individually so I put a zero only first then I select it again I put a one and another transition that I want is on zero from Q0 to Q1 and I'm not going to be creating any transitions from Q1 so the next thing we need is to mark the initial and final states and the way to do it is to just uh, right click on the state mark it as initial right click on the state mark it as final and here is my NFA that I've created and among the really cool features that this tool gives me is the ability to test it on some input so let me just go to a fast run and let's first give a string which is going to be accepted so I give 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and I hit ok and it shows me that accepting configuration found and it shows me uh, which uh, transitions led to uh, this string to be accepting. So let's hit I'm done and let's do another fast run and this time we'll give uh, an input which is not going to be accepted. So I give 00, zero so I give 11011. That's it. Okay. It says the input was rejected. So this is really cool and another thing I can do is I can do a step by state and let's just input 0010 and hit OK. So now it's showing me the state that it is in right now which is Q0 this is highlighted as well here and here it's showing me the input and when I hit step it now shows me that it consumed this 0 right here and it's now in two states q0 as well as q1 so here it has consumed this d zero and stayed at q0 here it has consumed the zero and went to q1 and i'll hit step again and now this one is done uh it it's done with that one right now and now it is in Q0 as well as Q1 by uh, by consuming these two zeros here by consuming these two zeros here when I hit step it now shows me that it's now in uh, just Q0 by accepting this one right here and this one uh, is finished because when this one came it has nowhere to go and when I hit step again it now shows me that it consumed the last zero and it is again in Q0 as well as Q1. So this is at Q0 after consuming the last one, last zero. And this one is at Q1 after consuming the last zero. And it shows me this state in green, meaning that it has been accepted. So this is another cool feature to simulate step by step or to get a fast run. Although uh, this isn't really a big task, we can actually uh, calculate the accepting uh, calculate whether a string is accepting or not uh, pretty easily but this does offer that functionality another really cool thing it offers is the ability to convert to a DFA so I'm going to hit convert to DFA and let's increase the size right here so here it first just has the start state but if I hit complete it gives me the entire DFA let's just bring this closer so this is the DFA that it has created for me 
it on 0 q0 goes to q1 on 0 q1 retains itself and on 1 uh, both of them go to q0 so whenever i have a 0 i'm going to end up at q1 so it's going to accept all strings that end with a uh, with a 0 so let's just go ahead and try another one so let's get rid of this entire uh, DFA right here so we'll get rid of this entire thing and let's go ahead and draw the NFA that we've actually been working with for quite a few videos now which is uh, two epsilon transitions from Q0 and actually let's uh, just flip these states right here so that it's consistent with what we were drawing so I have epsilon transitions from Q0 to Q1 and to create an epsilon transition I just enter no input and I hit enter and JFLAP calls this these transitions as lambda transitions which is another term used for epsilon transitions so I have a lambda transition here, I have another lambda transition here and Q1 goes to Q2 on a 0, Q3 goes to Q4 on a 1 and Q1 retain state on a 1, Q3 retain state on a 0, Q2 retain state on a 0, Q4 retain state on a 1 and Q2 goes to Q1 on 1 and Q4 goes to Q3 on 0. So this is the NFA that we've been working with for uh, a couple of videos now. This is basically the NFA which is going to accept all binary strings. The top part accepts all strings that end with a 0. The bottom part accepts all strings that end with a 1 and epsilon or lambda in this case is going to be the only string that's not going to be accepted. So let's ask it to convert this to a DFA. It says it needs an initial state. So I haven't marked my final state and sorry, this needs to be final. This needs to be final as well. And this is going to be my initial state. And now let's hit convert. And let's once again, increase the size. Let's first complete the DFA, it's actually simpler to uh, bring them closer and then increase the size. So I do this and now let's make my automaton bigger. So this is what it has drawn from me, for me and if you remember the previous video we saw that uh, the first state that we are going to create was Q0, Q1, Q3 and that's exactly what it's giving me in this rectangle at the bottom it's showing me what numbers from the original NFA what states were used to create the new Q0 so it's Q0, Q1, Q3 this one is made from Q2, Q3 this one is made from Q1, Q4 so this is the three state DFA that it has uh, given me so this is another really cool feature that JFLAP offers and there's also a uh, a way to minimize DFAs which we'll look at later. So that's also another feature that JFLAP off offers. So this is a really great tool. You can play around with uh, Automata here and I hope you enjoy using this tool and I hope this helps as well when you quickly want to test some in long input or you quickly want a conversion from NFA to DFA. So that's it for this video, I'll see you in the next one.